hello and welcome so we are uh, continuing with our uh, second chapter uh, which is on ammeter voltmeter and ohmmeters and uh, in this particular video we will talk about uh, rectifier based uh, voltmeters and ammeters so that we can uh, measure ac as well okay uh, So, um, okay. Uh, the reason we are uh, considering this is okay. Let's recall uh, what are the instruments that we have studied. We have studied uh, PMMC instruments. We have studied electrodynamic and moving our are on instruments okay and uh, we know that pmmc can measure only dc okay and uh, this can measure either dc or AC in principle. So, in principle, this can measure both DC and AC. Also, this can measure both DC and AC, but generally, as we have seen, uh, generally this instrument is not used for measuring DC. Okay? So, this is used mainly for AC. In principle, it can measure DC, but we do not uh, use this for DC measurement because of the retentivity or residual magnetism problem which we have uh, uh, discussed before. Okay. So, um, this is mainly for used mainly for AC and now if we compare PMMC and electrodynamic recall that we have said that PMMC is more sensitive than electrodynamic particularly for low uh, values of current or maybe voltage okay this is because pmmc has a permanent magnet this doesn't have a permanent magnet and uh, the magnetic field uh, in this instrument is again created by the unknown current therefore if the current is low in this instrument electrodynamic both the magnetic field and current both of them becomes low so the torque becomes lower here at least the magnetic field flux density b is not changing so b is always same current is low for uh, low currents uh, so this is not the torque in this uh, instrument is not as low as electrodynamic instruments uh, therefore, P PMMC instruments have some advantages like this is more sensitive to low value of uh, the current, but it cannot measure AC. Now, we can use PMMC, so which is a DC meter instruments 
in conjunction with or along with rectifier circuits okay so that it can measure both uh, is I mean it can measure AC as well as is more sensitive particularly when we are measuring low values of current ok. So, therefore, in this video we will talk about rectifier based meters. Now, rectifiers you you may already have studied rectifiers in uh, your uh, first year or maybe in your um, earlier courses, uh, but let us uh, recall it ok. So, generally we can have two types of rectifiers uh, which we call as full wave rectifier and half wave rectifier. So, we will come to the circuit in a while, till then let us see what they does. So, if I give an input which is sinusoidal, okay, so this is input. For full wave rectifier, the output will be like this. But for half wave rectifier, for the same input, it will look like this. So, rectifier is a circuit which takes sinusoidal input and gives output which is which is like this for full wave rectifier and for half wave rectifier it will be like this positive halves will remain unchanged negative halves will become 0. So, positive half as it is negative half is, is uh, going to be 0 here as well and in this case positive halves are unchanged negative halves are reversed ok. So, this is what a full wave rectifier and a half wave rectifier does. Now, let us call this uh, waveform as a uh, Say, say this waveform is V m sin omega t ok. So, V m is what is the peak value of the voltage or current ok. So, let me call it a m because it can be voltage it can be current in general. So, let me call it a m. So, a m is this much ok and here again this will be a m. This output you can write it as possibly mod of a m sin omega t and this circuit also this is a m peak value ok. So, this is the peak value and let me just use A for simplicity. Okay. So, here also it will be A. Okay. So, the peak value is equal to A for both input and output.
okay now the rms value root mean square value will be a by root 2 once again this is true for both input and output okay so i guess you know how to find the rms value of a sinusoidal wave and the average value okay so for input is zero because it's uh, positive for half of the times negative for half of the times so for input and for output this will be a by pi by 2 okay for output okay once again i am assuming that you know how to find the average value by integrating over a complete uh, cycle or uh, half half cycle you can do it so in this case peak is once again if peak is a then rms will be how much it will not be equal to uh, okay so peak is a for both input and output rms is equal to a by root 2 for input but will not be equal to a by root 2 okay so exercise what will be the value okay homework find out the value of the rms for half wave rectified uh, waveform okay and then average this will be a by pi by 2 okay it was for this full wave rectified waveform and now in this case we see that half of the times the waveform is absent like here it was present here it is absent so the average will definitely will be reduced by a factor of 2 so this will become half of this so this will be a by pi okay so this relationships you should be able to derive it on your own and you should remember it always okay uh, throughout this course okay so particularly important relationships are this average value equal to this for full that is this is a full wave this is for half wave you must always know this now uh, say i uh, want to measure a ac voltage okay so next uh, the goal is to measure a uh, ac sinusoidal purely sinusoidal to measure a ac voltage with a dc meter pmmc meter with a pmmc meter okay so this is the goal how can we do that we just need a diode so now let's draw the circuit suppose i have a complicated network which i am drawing like a box and it has two terminals between which i want to measure so i want to measure the voltage between these two terminals what do i do i generally connect a voltmeter okay so now we have to connect a dc voltmeter which can measure an ac voltage so this voltage is ac so this voltage is ac purely sinusoidal we have to measure it 
Okay, so how we will do it? We will take our PMMC meter. Okay, now if we if we connect it like this, so the voltage is positive for half of the time, negative for other half that means the current which will flow through this meter is positive in uh, for half of the time negative for other half of the time and therefore the torque will be towards the uh, maybe towards the right for one half of the time and towards the left for another half the and the average torque will be zero if the frequency is high enough then the pointer will not move at all so this meter will not work so that was a quick recapitulation why PMMC meter does not work with AC. But what we will do now, we will put a diode in this circuit uh, like this. So now what happens? So if this is the input, this is the input voltage. this plus minus does not mean this is DC, this is only the reference direction for drawing the waveform. Okay. So, so, I am measuring the potential of this point with respect to this point and the waveform looks like this. And now the current which will flow through this meter I, okay. so this is the voltage, call it V. So this is VAC sinusoidal. The current which I which will flow through this meter will be positive here in the positive cycle. Current will flow as it is. So the current will be proportional to the voltage, assuming the meter is resistive. So the and the meter resistance is RM. So, meter is resistive. So, the internal impedance of this meter is uh, like a pure resistance with the value of Rm. So, this current I will be. So, if, if, if I call this as V peak, okay, then this value I peak will be equal to V peak divided by Rm. So, this is sinusoidal and the peak of this sinusoid is V peak by Rm, V by I. Here it will be 0, here it will be positive again and again here it is 0, 0 like that. Okay. So, if so, Okay. Now, how should I calibrate or mark the scale of this meter? Okay. So, say how should I calibrate this meter? Now, uh, okay. so if I, if I assume um, this is the scale of the meter and so this is a pmmc meter which i can mark uh, for which i can mark the scale in terms of current say this current is zero left side right side is uh, will be as per the notation ifsd full scale deflection current and let's assume that full scale deflection current is equal to 10 milliampere okay and say Rm. So let's say FSD full scale deflection current is 10 milliampere for this meter, and Rm is equal to say 100 ohm. Okay, so that means this point corresponds to 10 milliampere, and this point corresponds to 0 milliampere. So this is a PMMC meter that means the scale will be linear. So, this point corresponds to half of FSD that means 5 milliampere. 
this point is 2.5 milliampere, this point is 7.5 milliampere, and so on. But now I want to mark the scale in terms of the voltage, unknown voltage. Okay, so this is uh, scale in terms of the current. Okay, so I want to mark this scale, the same scale I want to mark in terms of the voltage. So that by looking at the pointer position, I can find the value of this voltage directly. Okay, so this point zero current means definitely the voltage must also be zero. So this point I can write it as zero volt. Okay, now what should be the value here? in terms of voltage. So, let us do the calculation. So, here the current that is flowing is IFSD or 10 milliampere. Okay. So, current is 10 milliampere and this current is, so this is what? This is actually the average current okay. because this meter is a, it is a PMMC meter. So, this will indicate the average value of current. So, here we can write so this point at this point average current is equal to 10 milliampere. Okay. So, I average here is 10 milliampere. Now, what is the value or of the current actual current? This is a time varying current I t and this I t looks like this okay? and therefore, the if the peak of this current is I p then I average we can write how much will it be this will be I peak divided by pi just recall from the previous slide this is half wave rectified okay so this is i average now here i average is 10 milliampere which implies i peak by pi is equal to 10 milliampere here now what is i peak i peak is equal to V peak by R m, this is equal to 10 milliampere. Okay. So, we can write V peak is equal to 10 milliampere multiplied by R m, R m is here 100 ohm. So, 100 times 10 thousand, so this will be 1 volt. Okay. This is V peak. Okay. So, V peak is 1 volt. If V peak is 1 volt, now the, that means this is 1 volt. So, this will be 1 volt. Okay. So, let us not write it here. So, then the RMS value of that voltage will be by root 2. So, therefore, this position I should mark it as root 2 whatever the value is it is like 0 0.707 or so this will be v volt ok. So, this is the value or scale in terms of voltage what kind of voltage RMS voltage very important this is not in terms of peak voltage this is in terms of RMS voltage ok. And you probably know that when talking about AC, particularly sinusoidal AC, RMS quantity is generally what we use to mention it. So, this scale is in terms of RMS voltage, this scale was in terms of current. Okay. To be more accurate, this was in terms of the average current. Okay. So, this is in terms of average current, this is in terms of RMS voltage. 
and if so the half of it so the center point I can definitely mark it as by 2 root 2 volt and so on. So, this is how the scale should be marked and this is how the circuit should look like. Okay. So this is a half wave rectifier based voltmeter. Okay. So, we will call this thing together as my voltmeter because I will have the terminals here where I will connect the unknown voltage. So, this is the this is a AC voltmeter which is made up of a diode and a PMMC meter. Okay. Now, okay, suppose uh, let us take a next new problem, new question uh, where uh, the goal of uh, the our goal is now to measure uh, say an AC voltage and sorry an AC current with a PMMC meter. Okay. So, I have a network in short N W in which I have a particular branch and some current is flowing through it call this current as I and I want to find out the value of I this is AC and pure the sinusoidal. Okay. Now, so to measure this current I have to insert a PMMC meter why PMMC? Because PMMC we know is more sensitive than other types of meters. So, we connect a PMMC meter ok. Uh, just one small note uh, is that this symbol where we have an arrow inside a circle please do not think that this is a current source ok. Uh, this is a, this is also we use the same symbol for meters often, uh, but the only difference ok is generally when talking about meters we indicate the pointer at an angle generally, uh, but for current source we generally write it we draw it like this. So, this is current source. So, please do not get confused. Uh, this is generally a meter. So, this is uh, I mean this is bit confusing we use the same symbol for uh, both of uh, the elements. I guess the meaning of the symbol will be clear evident from, from the context or it is always better if we write what it is beside it. So, this is a PMMC meter that means this is a DC meter of course, this is a DC meter and we are measuring a AC current this current is AC. So, the deflection will be 0 if I connect it like this because half of the times current is positive half of the times it is negative. So, half of the times torque is positive half of the time it is negative however, its torque will be 0 pointer will not move at all if the frequency is high enough. So, the solution is put a diode in this circuit just like the voltmeter circuit we used previously and then the current will flow for half of the time and the meter can indicate some non-zero value. Now, this circuit is wrong. This circuit if I call this circuit an ammeter ok. This as an ammeter is absolutely wrong ok. Never make an ammeter like this why? Because this was the original circuit original circuit 
and here the current was flowing like this. It was flowing for both positive and negative halves. This is the circuit where we have cut open this branch and inserted an ammeter and this ammeter is allowing the current to flow only for one half of the time. It is not allowing the current to flow for the remaining time. So, the original network is changed, is disturbed okay, because in the original network the current was flowing always but now in this circuit when we are trying to measure something we have changed the circuit completely. So, we have changed mistakenly changed the original circuit. Okay. So, whenever we whenever we measure Uh, whenever we insert any instrument in any measuring instrument in any circuit the original circuit should not change ok so, if we want to measure something we should not change that itself ok. So, this is true for any measuring uh, instrument electrical engineering in any, any other discipline everywhere if we are trying to measure something we should not change that while measuring it, but in this circuit we are doing that ok. So, therefore, this is a wrong circuit the correct circuit should look like this. So, if this is the network this is my meter ok I will put a diode in the opposite direction like this and this will be my AC ammeter this will be this is my AC ammeter. So, now what happens this current I can flow always half of the time it flows through the meter half of the time it flows through this diode, but it can flow always. So, here this I will flow always. So, therefore, the original circuit is not changed, but the meter gets current only for half of the time. So, I is continuous this is I, but if I call this current as I m, I m flows only here this is I m. So, therefore, the average value of the meter current is non-zero because negative current does not flow through the meter. So, meter will indicate uh, some value, but the circuit is not disturbed. So, this is the correct circuit, correct ammeter. This is a wrong ammeter, never make an ammeter like this. For voltmeter, okay, so previously for the voltmeter circuit, we uh, did not put uh, the uh, put a diode in the opposite direction that is not so necessary because voltmeters are ideally not supposed to draw any current. So, ideally uh, a very little amount of current flows through this uh, in the positive cycle and the lower the amount it is better. We know the voltmeter should have very high resistance, very high impedance and in the negative cycle no current flows no problem because in the original circuit as well no current was flowing between this. So, for voltmeters uh, the diode in the opposite direction is not that important, but for ammeters definitely we need it ok. So, now uh, 
uh, we will take a break uh, in this video we will continue with this topic and uh, we will discuss about more about uh, say uh, full wave rectifiers uh, full wave rectifier based circuits will uh, deal with more problems uh, examples in uh, coming videos thank you